Hi, my name is Jessie Chen. I'm the holder of this diary. Call it when traveling. When you are with someone, your sense towards the things around you seem to become less sensitive. I don't remember what I saw clearly as I usually do when I walk in around Stockholm, but what I do remember profoundly is the feeling with a friend of mine, Colleen. December fifth, two thousand twenty-one, in Stockholm, Sweden. She's Swedish. I met her in my college in two thousand seventeen when she was there for learning Chinese. Though we didn't get along for a very long time. Because she left Taiwan the next year, we still kept in touch from time to time afterwards. I even visited her in Korea in 2020 when she was doing exchange program there. Since then, we kept talking, seeing each other in Sweden. Well, the thing I still can't believe now is we did make it happen in the end of 2021. That was definitely a precious memory. On that day, we visited lots of places: a museum, a library, a Thai restaurant, a cafe, and a place for ice skating. Honestly, I remember none of their names because I was so focused on our conversation that I paid little attention to where I was and how I felt towards the things I saw. This lasted until I spent a pre-Christmas night at her house. I never forget the warm feeling then. There was so much joy and love. Colin's mom prepared a classic Swedish meal, which is meatball for us. Well, there's a small accident here. When I was helping myself, I just got some mashed potatoes and some sauce of meatball because I'm basically a vegetarian. Colin's mom noticed that and asking, "Aren't you hungry? There are some meatballs." Oh, actually, I don't eat meat, but potatoes are good for me. I answer with a smile. They are made from beans. It's vegetarian, because Colleen is vegetarian. She said. Oh yes, I totally forgot. Few years ago, Colleen decided to be vegetarian, and she had told me so since I visited her in Korea. Hearing the news was really a blessing to me. Because to be honest, I was really hungry after a day walk. We then enjoyed a dinner with my favorite Christmas song, "Last Christmas," broadcasted coincidentally from the radio at the well-decorated table and in a dim yellow light atmosphere. Oh, by the way, I really like berry jam mixed with salty mashed potatoes. At the beginning, I thought it might be a little weird to add the jam to my dish. However, surprisingly, they fit perfectly. After dinner, we started to do some Christmas ritual, which started from drinking alcohol mixed with raisin and almond. According to Colin's mom, if I didn't remember wrongly, she emphasized, "We're drinking alcohol, not wine. This helps you get warmer." Yes, after all, we were in Sweden, huh? In the meantime, Colin's mom started to light candles based on the ritual. People light Advent candles according to the week of December to mark the progression towards Christmas. That was second week, so we had two candles. Finally, we had some cinnamon cookies. Colin told me before eating, people make a wish and then smash it. If the cookie breaks into three pieces, it means the wish will come true. Wow! Really? Then I definitely need to try. Well, I look at my cookie at the moment. There was just one thought popping up in my mind. Yeah, I know. I'm always the one out of luck. The result was my cookie broke into five pieces. Colin laughed at my miserable cookie and saying, "Never mind. You can try as many times as you want." Oh yes, I was so stupid that I didn't think of it. Like I always believe in the one-time destiny, but forget I can totally make several chances for myself. Well, let's do my second challenge. Oh no way! I failed again. And when I was about to grab a new cookie, suddenly 
I noticed something cheering. There's a small piece on the bottom right. I make it. My wish is gonna come true. I shouted with joy. You probably wanna ask if the wish did come true. Well, the answer is no, unfortunately. But I definitely had a great time with Colleen and her mom. Thanks for having me, and thanks for your reading.